Good morning. I'd like to call the order of the Beaver County Board of Commissioners meeting for March 26, 2020 at 10 a.m. If you could please stand for the invocation and remain standing for the flag salute. Dear Heavenly Father, we meet to serve our community, to use our resources wisely and well, to represent all members in our community fairly, to make decisions that promote the common good, we recognize our responsibility for the past and the future, and the rights and the needs of both, individuals and community. As trusted servants, we seek blessings on our deliberations, and on our efforts here today, we, may we act wisely and well. May we please keep all the families who are affected by COVID-19, our medical facilities, our first responders, our police departments, and our prayers as we continue to strive for a better future. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will um, go to our solicitor, Darren Fidelis, for general comments. Good morning, everyone. At, at this time, obviously, we are holding this public meeting um, with members of the public, uh, not here in the courthouse. The courthouse is being closed, as we all know, due to the Supreme Court order, except for various court-related functions. Uh, we have sent this request out to the media, and we do have some media members that are present here uh, with the intention of, of our purpose here today is to comply with the Sunshine Act as best we can under these difficult circumstances. In speaking with other counties, they have done similar to what we have done in that they have live streamed this meeting and also open it up to various members of the media. We have also requested that the public participate and submit any questions that they have prior to this meeting, which we do have some questions that we will get to later in the meeting. We understand in this difficult times, transparency does build trust. And what we're doing is trying to put a good faith effort in order to comply with the Sunshine Act and also comply with the state orders regarding uh, these difficult times that we are in. So from the solicitor's office, it's our opinion that we do fit within the legal permissions at this time, that this meeting can be held in pursuant uh, uh, and not in violation of the Sunshine Act. And we will continue to monitor this and adjust this as this moves forward and how we handle meetings moving forward. With that being said, I'll turn it back over to the commissioner to run the meeting. Thank you, Darren. Uh, we'll move to visitors' comments on, on, agenda, or for, on agenda items only. And there were no comments submitted um, on agenda items. Right. We'll move to proclamations. A proclamation of the Board of Commissioners of the County of Beaver and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania designating the week of April, two, April 2020 as Pennsylvania 811 Safe Digging Month in Beaver County. I make that motion. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carried. We'll move to approval of the minutes. Is there a motion to approve the March 12, 2020 public meeting minutes? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carried. Is there a motion to approve the March 11, 2020 work session meeting minutes? I'll make that. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carried. We'll move to the controller. I have the bills for the commissioners to sign and approve for payment. To make a motion to pay the bills. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carried. We'll move to old business. Hearing none, we'll move to new business. Is there a motion to approve the human resources report attachment A? So the second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carried. Solicitor report. Before jumping into the resolutions, a, a couple of updates. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the courthouse has been operating uh, on a very limited access to the public. Uh, we've been asking and requesting that the public only come to the courthouse for any type of matters that are court-related matters that the Supreme Court has permitted to operate during this time. Uh, we have been cleaning the courthouse. We've been allowing employees to work home who have the ability to work home. The count has been roughly around 180 or so employees, which is almost a quarter of our employees have been working from home over this time. Uh, 
Uh, we've been allowing a little more use of time off for employees. Uh, generally speaking, if an individual uses sick days more than three days in a row, they have to provide a doctor's excuse. We've waived that in this period of time. So we have been working through this in order to try to limit the access to the courthouse for only those functions that the Supreme Court mandates, while also um, balancing the, the health and safety of our employees during this time as well, too. Uh, I do want to also report on the reassessment. They are currently working through technology matters. Um, they're trying to get a website up and running that will explain a lot of the information that they will be doing. There will be no people out in the field in the short term. That was the intention anyways. Their intention really wasn't to have people out in the field until mid to late April. That obviously is a fluid situation depending on what happens here, but there will not be anyone out in the field doing the reassessment at this time, they're currently doing some background operation that they had planned to do. So at this point, the timeline for the reassessment uh, appears still to be on from where we were at initially. The reassessment has to be done. We, we would at this point. We, we, we have one room and certainly under these circumstances, if we get feedback from Tyler Technologies who's doing the read assessment that this has backlogged or pushed them back, we can go to the court and ask for an extension. And I don't see any scenario where the judge under these circumstances wouldn't do that. But at this point, we don't even have to go down that path. You have 31 resolutions listed for today. A couple highlights of some. Number two is the tourism calendar for the county. Three through five are for engineering services on various projects. Uh, three is for dugouts and storage sheds at uh, baseball fields in Beaver Falls. Number four is for the freezer at the Faith Restoration Building in Manaka. And number five is for a, a boiler in the Alacopa Library. Eighteen is for human resources. It's the pre-employment drug policy. This is the policy that requires individuals to take a drug test before being employed with the county. This has been informally put in place. This is just the formal policy for that. 19 is for the farmer's market that's held here in the back lot of the county courthouse starting in April, running through the end of the year. 26 is for the, uh, the contract for the maintenance inspections of elevators here in the county facilities. 27 deals specifically with the COVID-19. It's the leave policy that I touched on briefly at the beginning uh, of this meeting where we are allowing employees to use liberal use of their sick time in order to take time off if necessary under these circumstances. 18, or excuse me, 28 deals with the life accident and short-term disability for our employees. It's a contract that we have with One America. Number 30, this is the project down in Brady's Run on the road. What this allows is there's going to be some dirt and fill taking out of there that fill instead of being transported off-site is going to be used for clean fill with the waste management site this has been run past our director holly Boyd. she has been in agreement with this and would have to help her out in the way as well too so this would be from the construction project if, if you're all familiar with brady's run the road that runs through it there has been a little bit of work that has been done. It was our understanding that that was being done to stabilize that road, and the vast majority of that work will be done here in the summertime, obviously pending on what happens here with, with COVID-19. And then finally, number 31 is the declaration of disaster emergency. We are just ratifying the fact that Beaver County is in a declaration of, of emergency that we put into place once the first uh, COVID-19 case tested positive Beaver County last week. So with that being said, if there are any questions on any of the, no, the resolutions. I just want to clear uh, you mentioned four and five. Library that those are through our community development projects. Yes. Any other questions on the resolutions? So our motion to approve resolutions number 032620-01 through resolutions number 032620 31. I'll make it. Second. Any other further discussion on those? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carried. We will now move to comments on non agenda items.
There was a question submitted by Andrew McGee, who is a Beaver resident. And the question is, what is the current capacity of Heritage Valley Beaver? How many beds are available? How many ICU beds? And are any ICU beds currently occupied by COVID-19 patients? And has there been a, a call to stop elective surgeries? All elective surgeries on their facilities. Uh, we can't. I can't speak for any of the other uh, hospitals in, in the Pittsburgh region. Um, as for beds, um, you know, we are very familiar with what our hospitals do. Uh, we know they have the capacity to expand their ICU beds, but I think right now it's probably not our position to discuss the hospital's um, stance on how many beds they have. Uh, I would agree that's something Heritage Valley would have to answer more specifically. Exactly. And then there were two questions submitted by the Beaver County Times. Question number one, and this is directed to Commissioner Mannon. Last week, you issued a press release saying that you and your wife were self-quarantined. I understand you've been at the courthouse daily. And you could have called in for this meeting. What has gone into your decision about these appearances and how does this constitute self-quarantining? If you're going to the office every day. Well, in that statement, I said I would come in as needed to perform um, duties as necessary, signing things and the like. We've been having 10 a.m. Uh, updates. I felt it was important to be there for those. I'm coming in very early. I'm here by 7:30 every morning, taking care of those responsibilities, having those in-person conversations um, when necessary. Uh, I was not going to stop coming in <laughs> until I was satisfied that um, we had done everything we could to secure the safety, uh, physical safety, and financial safety of our employees. And it's still a work in progress uh, as, as we go through that. So uh, I'm going to continue to come in. Uh, I'm here for four hours. Uh, I leave. I run any errands. Um, that I need to for the household. Do those, come home, join my wife, uh, and continue to work online on my phone well into the evening, just like these two gentlemen are doing. Uh, this is a, a, at least a 16 hour a day job. Uh, we're all doing everything we can. And I'm going to continue to do that until I'm satisfied. We've done everything to secure uh, the safety of our employees, the safety of the public, and uh, fulfill the duties. And the sworn oath that we uh, that we took uh, for me 91 days ago, if anybody's counting. <laughs> and then the second question from the Beaver County Times, and this is for all three commissioners. What do you have to say to the people of Beaver County as there were reports of additional cases and community spread throughout the county? Stay home, stay safe, wash your hands. Those were the three things we started with continue to say. Stay home. It's tough. I know it's tough. Uh, just a little time that we get out to come here and go back home. Once that door is closed and you're at home, you, you know you can't go anywhere or do anything. Um, it, it's tough, especially if you have children and grandchildren uh, trying to keep the kids from not bumping into each other. I mean, it's okay to maybe take a walk around your yard, but Please do not contact with people other than your your household. Yeah, I, I would say continue to look at the guidelines that are coming down from the governor and the CDC um, on how to stay stay safe. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely pleased that we've got the most important of our workforce being able to work from home. I think that's great. Some obviously can't do that, um, but they need to take the the uh, precaution, the hygiene precautions, uh, and limit their exposure. Uh, outside of their homes. Uh, don't know what else uh, to tell folks at this point in time. We, we know there's got to be other cases. We know the seven that shows right now for Beaver County is not the final count. Um, this is going to continue uh, to peak for the next several weeks, maybe even months, and uh, we just need to persevere with, through it. I, I think Commissioner Manning is right. Uh, the first Thursday in February, both Commissioner Manning and Commissioner Amadeo on the radio said it's not if, it's when we, we get to this point. We're here. And I think it's important, as Commissioner Manning said, that 
we are going to continue to see more cases as more tests become available, as more places start doing the testing, as the FDA and, and the state continue to approve more test kits and, and things going out into the community, we're going to see more, more cases. But it's important that, you know, our hospitals and our first responders have the PPE um, protective equipment they need to stay safe and, and hopefully when they go home they don't aren't, aren't spreading that so as they said you know stay home stay safe and, and continue to follow all the guidelines that we can, we're preaching in the federal government and the state government's preaching so some habits are hard to break uh, the average person touches their face 90 times in a day yeah there you go. I, i'm sure i've touched mine twice already but i know that's when you have sinus problems or you, your eyes are watering, it's just an automatic thing. You just got to try to be self-conscious not to do it. I think I've cut mine down a lot. So maybe I touch my face uh, 10 times a day. But I'm, I'm working on it. We all have to do that. We all have to work on what we touch, what door. I mean, simple things such as light switches, door handles, doorknobs. You got to be cognizant of everything you do. They laugh at us in here because I carry one of those Lysol pads with me. Everywhere I go, I have it in my hand. I, uh, I won't touch anything without using a wipe. Any other questions, non-agenda items from any of the media in the audience? There are none. Uh, we'll move to announcements. Next Beaver County Board of Commissioners public meeting will be held on April 9, 2020 at 10 a.m. here in the Commissioner's public meeting room. We will advise uh, the public and the media how that meeting will uh, be held, whether it's uh, this forum or the public will be welcome back into the courthouse at the time. But as of right now, the next meeting will be April 20th, 2020. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any nays? Motion carried. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I wash my hands before I cut them.